Yeah, hi guys. So, um, yeah, just going by the title, I, I can already feel the staring, accusing eyes and the seething anger rising. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, I, I know all you guys out there that are not really King James fans are just rolling in their eyes going, yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I've come to realise, like, I, I obviously, those that know me, I'm a King James only um, sort of person, um, but I can, I'm now well matured, which is, thank, thankfully, um, in that line of things, and I can see where I used to be, um, used to be like the KGAV only people as well, like, um, this, this bit here, I'll just, <laughs> this is like, <clears throat> what I mean by crazies, um, quick to anger and slow to forgive, you know, they'll smash you with a KJV and you must accept this and oh, you're going to hell forever and <laughs> so a soft answer turneth away, so they don't really read the KJV, you know, they know it's God's perfect word, so they're protecting the book, but they don't listen, listen means obey, right, so a soft answer turneth away wrath. Uh, are you listening and obeying when you're attacking someone straight away? You know, if you're angry, it says here, a soft answer turneth away wrath. So, um, for the wrath of a man worketh not righteousness of God. A fool uttereth his mind, but a wise man keep it in until afterwards. So anyway, you know where I'm going with that. So hopefully the KGV only people have settled down a bit. All right. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, I've I've just um, just come to realise what this verse means here. Three sixteen. I love First Timothy three sixteen. It was my favourite verse, but I'm starting to understand this one here. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Now I always thought this can't be right because I was a KJV only. This one here. I would ha have an objection to. I didn't like this verse at all. all right? It, 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 it really irritated me. <laughs> so guess what? I'm going to have a look at it in another version. Just to rub it in. Alright, we'll have a look at it in NLT. Not NIV. Well, even I can't stand NIV. <laughs> I'll never read it again. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. Our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and it teaches us to do what is right. So see how this puts it back onto us, onto, onto you, right? Us. Right, the KJV um, makes it clear it's for us. But it seems like it's aimed at everyone else but us, and is preferable for doctrine, for reproof, correction, for instruction. Right? So you ought to tell everyone else about that. But it's actually for us. So what I've noticed is, you don't know what pain is unless you've experienced pain. So how can you be compassionate to somebody who has pain, right? Unless you've experienced it yourself. So I did not find out the KJV was God's perfect word because somebody beat me with it and forced me to use it, all right? I found it because I just kept arguing with God, why is this book wrong, you know? And, and then he kept pointing me to the KJV and I didn't want to read it because it has these and thous. So then that's why um, I fought him all the way and then I you know, eventually I ended up getting there and I got to the KJV and, um, and the Strongs that comes with it made a big difference because I never used Strongs before. So now words started meaning things, and Holy Spirit is the teacher of all things, um, not us. We don't bash them with Bibles. If you know, we're still learning as well, and we're still learning from the teacher of all things. So um, this is why this verse is meaningful. It means you've got to learn by mistakes. You must experience pain before you can realize why it's bad. How do you you know, especially avoiding sin and all that? You must realize what sin is before you can avoid it. So, um, yeah, that's, in my respects, that's why I've settled down and, well, not just that, I've been working on getting Fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> fruit of the Spirit is awesome. It's crowns. It's, 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 as it says, there is no law if you have Fruit of the Spirit. So, 
um, yeah, was it? as long as you have God, right, and you're hanging out with God and um, God's in your life and love God above all things and love your neighbour, the next one is fruit of the Spirit. That's what you should be working on. So, um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. And for you KJV only guys and gurus, all right, you have no... You, if you're still all grumpy and beating people over the head about the KJV, you have no idea what's in that KJV, and it's so vast, so massive, like numbers mean things, um, the amount of times things are repeated means things, uh, the, um, and there was, the is, and the is to come, and the type and shadows, and the, it, it, it is, it is fractal, I don't know if you know what fractal means, but it is a massive, it is so massive, <laughs> yeah, Holy Spirit wrote it, you, you just can't grasp how big this book is, this is what your book should be digging for, looking for all these things, it's wonderful, alright, so, um, that's how you preach KJV, <laughs> lovingly, <laughs> alright, so, um, and I'll also, I'll get the comments in the comment section where they don't even watch the video. So, yeah, good, good on yous. <laughs> Alright, God bless guys.